Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video we are going to look at this very small form factor light from Nightcore. In my hands here is the Tip SE. And before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Nightcore who did provide this product for review. Now, Nightcore is a brand whose products have come to greatly enjoy from their larger flashlights and most specifically, their smaller flashlights. These are wonderful quality, excellent output, great overall features, definitely small, lightweight, and capable. And that's what we're talking about here with the Tip SE. A very small, compact flashlight that, for me, really fits a perfect niche. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you probably realize I'm into the hiking, camping, and backpacking genre. So, having a flashlight with this amount of capability and this tiny little form factor really does come into play. Now, I can tell you this definitely performed while out in the mountains. And if this is going to perform out there, you know it's definitely going to perform in an EDC situation. So this, to me, is really starting to hit a sweet spot. If there's one thing Nightcore is definitely getting dialed in, it's high performance in a small package. From output to battery life, we are definitely starting to get there with these compact form factor flashlights. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the mountains. I'm going to show you some field use footage. Then we're going to come back to the studio and go through the details. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. So here settling into my campsite, have my entire sleep system completely set up, ready to go. And as you can see, the sun is just about to go down, but luckily for me, here I have my Nightcore Tip SE. Now if you've been watching my channel, you probably realize that I've used a number of Nightcore flashlights, and most specifically these small form factor flashlights on my hiking, camping, and backpacking excursions. And that's exactly what we have here today with the Tip SE, and I really do think that this would be the closest one so far to exactly what I'm looking for. Now the very first thing, if you look turning on the light with the lower button, here you can see it stays in the mode that I had it set. So for example, this is the low mode, medium, and high, back to low. Now turning the light off, as I turn it back on, it does remember what mode I was in. So if it was in the medium mode and I turn that off, well, it'll remember that, which I greatly enjoy. So for me, what I'm probably going to do is realistically leave this on the low mode so it doesn't kill my night vision. But what I can do is use the top button here, long press, and whenever I want, that goes to the turbo mode. So just a quick long press, and there you go gives you the turbo when you need it which is nice so that you're not killing your vision but if you want a little extra boost well boom there you go now the other thing you can do is when the light is off you can long press the top button and that's turbo on all the time now that's going to kill the battery pretty quick this has about a 15 minute run time on turbo which you do need to be careful so for me really i do want to leverage that lower mode so the low mode is going to run a good long time and give me the light that i need so it's going to be my attempt to use this as my sole camp light tonight let's see how it goes all right so at this point wrapping up the night definitely getting dark and a perfect opportunity to take a look at this tip se in detail so turning on the light here this is as i left it in the low mode which is going to be definitely very suitable for my typical camp tasks Here you can see illuminating my area and it's actually reasonable for navigation it's not quite as bright as i would like but it will do it it'll get me through an area and have a very nice run time but turning it up to the medium mode, that's about perfect for getting around. This is probably the mode that I would use to get around. And even if I had to hike out of here, I definitely could. I can easily illuminate and identify hazards in my terrain, make it through here with ease. Not a problem whatsoever. So that's the medium mode. Now clicking it on another notch to high. Probably don't really need this too much. It doesn't gain me too much in the way of advantage when navigating. However, I'm sure it does increase the throw. 
Now you're not going to be able to see too far. I mean, it's not going to do you too good with me illuminating out into the distance because you're not going to see anything and everything's too far away. Uh, but it definitely brightens the area quite a bit. And then holding down and long pressing, that's the turbo mode. Now again, that only lasts about 15 minutes, so I do want to be careful. And actually, crazy enough is, it does illuminate all the way across the pond. And so now you can see the turbo mode illuminating all the way across the pond. I mean, that is a couple hundred feet with ease. And you can see it actually illuminating all the way up to the top of the hillside. That's pretty impressive for this tiny light. I mean, that is ridiculous. We'll look at that in the daytime tomorrow and I'll show you what that is. But take a look at how bright this little flashlight is. That is spectacular. So now what I've done is I've clipped the light inside my hat. Now whether or not I had a baseball cap or here I have a winter hat, this is actually illuminating perfectly down on the ground where actually, and you're seeing the camera shadow because this is illuminating past the camera, but this is doing the perfect job to illuminate down in front of me. I can easily get on the buttons and here, turning it up to the next mode. Here's that medium mode, and this is what's going to get me navigating around. So now I'm completely hands-free, which is nice. I have this mounted inside my winter hat, and this is performing extremely well. I am very happy with this flashlight. This thing is absolutely sweet. All right, so medium here. Getting me out of here. Shows you what this can do in the pitch black. Quick turbo blast. Ooh, a lot of mud. That's nice. So that's that half press turbo. And then getting off of it. Working real nice. Nice. I kind of forget where you take that left. Yep, I'll find it. Right here. It's gotta be. I'm going for it. Oh. Yep. Home sweet home, baby. Home sweet home. Nice. All right, buddy. All right, cool. Well, I will see you in the morning. Yep. Good night, man. Awesome. Good morning, here we are. Nice early start to the day. You can see here, this is where we hung out last night. Had ourselves a nice night cooking, checking out the stars. And as you saw, I was using my Tip SE as my flashlight for the evening and it performed very well for me. I was very happy with it. Now the interesting thing, and this is what I wanted to show you, is on turbo mode, this projected not only all the way across, I mean if you look at how far that is, and it projected all the way up the ridge. 
So total distance of throw, I don't, I don't even know how to estimate that. Very impressive for what is actually a very small flashlight. So as I mentioned overall, I am very impressed with this Tip SE. And so now back in the studio, we will take a look at this Tip SE in detail. So here again, the Tip SE, very, very compact. And a couple of flashlights that we have looked at in the past. Well, here you have the Nightcore Tiki. This is the LE and here the standard Tiki. And as you look here, not too far off. And in reality, it's almost as if you took two Tiki's and kind of, I would say, like paired them together side by side. The Tiki might have a little bit of a bigger reflector overall, but generally that's about the size. So a couple of flashlights that I have come to greatly enjoy now sort of paired up into now what is a reasonably sized larger form factor, but still quite compact. Now this doesn't have some of the same bells and whistles that you get in the Tiki, these having those secondary LED sources. However, this Tip SE definitely packing a punch. And that's what I like. Just that nice quality high output for such a small light. Now here you can see the packaging very straightforward. I'm not gonna go into it terribly far. However, the one thing that you can see right away, which I like, boom, USB-C charging port. That is one, I would say, frustration I've had with some other newish flashlights. Nightcore definitely taking advantage of the USB Type-C connectors, which I greatly enjoy. I have been personally swapping out most of my connectors to USB Type-C, so to have the ability to charge this with most of my standard cables at this particular time works out very well. No more of that flimsy micro USB, which drives me crazy. This also does have a couple of lanyards that it comes with, so a clip and also a key ring. Very nice. I could see the clip being a quite handy connector for this. It does go right on the back, no problem. Nice metal enclosure there, so the ability to clip this to a pack or anything if you want. But for me, I really see the main clip being what I need. Now, this does come off, so if you wanted to slim this down, you can certainly do so. And it does come with this clip which is very nice. The only problem I have is it does seem to be just a little bit loose. So if you're not careful, it will slide around. I think for me, the best thing to do would be in all reality, actually glue it so that it can't potentially come off. So I think I might just glue this in place. You gotta be a little careful because it does go over that connector. So that is your USB charging port. And if you slide that in the way, if I was obviously to glue that in place, I'd be kind of doing myself a disservice. But if you slide that back just a little bit, gives you the room you need to clip this and also the access to the USB Type-C connector. So I'm a little bit up in the air about what I'm gonna do. Not completely sure just yet. I'm gonna ride this out a little bit, test it more and see what makes sense. But the fact is this does slide just a little bit easy. Uh, not really the most ideal. However, it does function overall very well. Here's your standard warranty card. Does come with the instruction manual. And here actually a supplementary piece of information, which is in my guess, uh, they probably omitted some of the features in the main uh, user manual here. And this is basically telling you how to get into your turbo mode. So basically what it's saying is when the light is in the on position, you can long press to get to turbo. Or if the light is off, long pressing will essentially turn it on indefinitely. So at that point, um, I think in reality what happened, they probably omitted uh, some of this information, but they put it on afterwards. And what you can see here is it says question. My tip only works for 30 seconds until it shuts off automatically. As it is in daily mode, you can either turn the light on again within three seconds, 
to temporarily set it to constant mode or press and hold down both buttons for three seconds to permanently switch it to constant mode, which is what I need to do. I wish I had read that prior to going on my trip because the light did turn itself off. So now holding down both buttons, well there it flashes. Let's see what happens. We're gonna turn that on. I'm basically gonna bump it up a couple modes so we can keep an eye on this thing. And we'll leave that there while we go through some of the rest of the details. So at this point, getting into the manual and opening it up, I did want to provide you with the full specs and rundown on your lumen outputs and your times. So in other words, you end up with your low, medium, high, and turbo modes. There are no additional specialty modes. So your low being a one lumen output with 50 hours of runtime, medium, which to me is critical. That's that critical mode that's gonna get me out of the wilderness. 30 lumens and that's eight hour runtime. That will do it. I typically don't have more than eight hours I need to get out of a situation. And even at that, if it was gonna take me longer, chances are very likely the sun would be coming up at that point. High, that's 180 lumen output with an hour and 30 minutes of runtime. And finally, turbo at 700 lumens, that is giving you a 15 minute runtime. Now, if you look, it does say the turbo has a 90 meter throw. That's 270 feet. Lo and behold, what did I test at? 270 feet. So that was completely accurate. And lo and behold, look, now this is in the permanently on position. That is great. So this Tip SE, totally awesome. I really like it. Well built, nice overall form factor, nice and compact, well constructed. Just a little bit of an issue with the clip for me, but not a big deal. I greatly, greatly like this flashlight. So all right, guys, there you have it. An in-depth look at this Tip SE. Obviously a great performer. I greatly, greatly enjoy this flashlight. Now, just a couple little things. I mean, the clip to me just moves a little bit easy. I'm probably just gonna glue it right in place because I like that clip on there. It works perfectly for the ability to mount this inside my cap. It was sweet, perfect output, nice and small. Generally good runtime. Now, I can see that as time goes on, these flashlights are gonna get better and better and better, having these small form factors with a good throw and continually increasing the battery life. Awesome little package, perfect for my needs. Would this be my only flashlight? Eh, hard to say, but it definitely does the bulk of my tasks. Do I think this would really get me all the way out in an emergency situation? It probably would, as long as I'm careful with the overall use and managing my battery properly with the proper outputs, I'm not gonna have too many problems. I'm definitely happy at the quality, I'm definitely happy at the beam output, and I think the run times are ample. The overall fit and finish, definitely there. Small form factor, lightweight, compact, it's really great. So from using this in the outdoor application to your EDC everyday carry solution, I see this tip SE being a home run. So all right guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.